Anything you? I'm uh, recording. No snap. Call the boys. And on the King Jack, we got called by Ace Jack Offsuit. We went tiny on the river. I think we're max value. Got boys. Um, we're flops. Pretty good. Uh, let's go to the bench. I never get to play 500 Zoom in the morning. This is the dream. I, I didn't realize how good I had it before it went away. <laughs> now we're going to be checking 10. Imagine he raises all of his jack tens on the floor, so it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna be raising. Make it look as bluffy as possible. Stack a jack always, and uh, give him a chance to just do something wild. Maybe it's bad to go small turn, smaller on the turn, I'm not sure. And then you get my first to jack. It's a, it's a close one, it's a close one. This might not even be an open. Too used to playing heads up. I'm just a heads up player these days. Um, against this guy who's playing this much, just gonna go tiny. I imagine he's gonna raise a lot of his 10x, so we're just gonna bomb it. It's just checked all the way down, just gonna check a nine. Yeah, this is definitely my heads up. Mind wants me to value bet. I mean, it's close anyway in six max, but it's uh, a lot more of a value than heads up. I know that everybody. 100% of people listening will appreciate the singing, so I'll continue just for you. I turned $50 into millions of dollars playing poker live and online. You can find out how I did it on my website charliecarroll.com where I'm teaching other people to do the same. You can find my cash game masterclass where I restructure the way that people think about poker completely instead of telling you what to think. You can find my mindset masterclass where I teach people about meditation, about tilt control, bankroll management, and all the good, important, juicy things. And you can find my full archive of footage of the bankroll challenge where I turned $50 into $10,000 and showing you exactly how I did it, streaming every single hand along the way. New uh, new reg on the streets called Suck Job. Picture of Elia Lezer on his, uh, on his on his display profile. Uh, we're gonna use this one as a fallback. Seems to be doing all the normal reg stuff. Never heard of it, but probably just uh, from some other country, from some other um, player pool, and it's just decided to jump into 500 Z. So we defended four way. I guess this guy's gonna be a recreational player. Tempted to raise, very, very tempted to raise in that spot. I don't know if we're getting enough holds though from King X. Yeah, we defended. Check for flop. Four's pretty good for us. We can have it. Or the ace five. Actually, no, we can't have ace five ball. Take it back. Use the heads up ranges. <laughs> we can only have uh, probably three, four of the ace fives. Speaking of ace five.
Yeah. That's a good one. It's probably better to have that than some like ace nine there. Right, we're gonna be chat raising this board very liberally against this player anyway. Um, over that turn. Just make him fold all his ace eyes. Three shoot on the button. Somebody tell me if that's an open these days. <laughs> What's everyone silver saying these days, huh? Going to be betting. With blast, we go smaller. With value, let's go bigger in this spot. He ain't gonna know any different. He's gonna have no idea. Jesus, there's a lot of recreational players playing at the moment, huh? Big fan of the 2x3, but get a maximum value from a King 8 off. What he's thinking. Oh, maybe it's not. It might be a. It might be a red. Uh, I wish could follow. So we have other reasons not to. Check all twice. Lead. River. Uh, here we four bet against the guy that he min three bet us basically. We're four betting him. Uh, we're not slowing down on the queen. More of a reason to keep betting. You got it, you got it, my friend. And he has it. Cashed out, fair enough. Pokestar's got us for that last bit of EV. Yeah, we're gonna be checking back. Another recreational player. This is juicy at the moment, huh? Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be raising up. Through that queen, queen, small line button. Calls. Call that. Fast played, set. Those two dry boys. So, you know. Uh, we had probably the best end. Now I'm gonna say that we almost definitely don't. In fact, it's gonna be raising. I 
and this guy's there, right? Make a loose open two recreational players at least. Doubting whether this guy's recreational or not. Shout out to dishwashers. If he raises, we might even flat. We burn it in case he shoves. And he reshoves. And we re reshove. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Try and check down our queens, huh? Oh, not the 10. Don't get 10 out of here. It's depressing. What do you want from me? Enjoy your 10. Yeah, obviously. It's always that. <laughs> Definitely a creative play. If it goes well, I look like a fucking genius. If that happens, I feel really stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be Ben Fox. Gonna check back flop. Most like hundred and Elrics would be able to win at these these stakes. Uh, if, if the play ball was always like this at least. Gonna see bet. It's early in the morning and the moon is hardly showing. There are creatures all around. Shadows and hear the sounds. Ace King, We're calling it out, Ace King. If he shoves, it's less likely to be Ace King. He checks is very likely ace king. I'm thinking 25. What do you guys think about that? He can obviously have turns here, guys. Don't don't get me wrong. This can look really stupid. He can have Ace Jack. There's a bunch of stuff he can have, but we're going all in for value, by the way. Uh, Ace King, it was. I turned fifty dollars into millions of dollars playing poker live and online. You can find out how I did it on my website, charliecarroll.com, where I'm teaching other people to do the same. You can find my cash game masterclass, where I restructure the way that people think about poker completely instead of telling you what to think. You can find my mindset masterclass, where I teach people about meditation, about tilt control, bankroll management, and all the good, important, juicy things. And you can find my full archive of footage of the bankroll challenge, where I turned $50 into $10,000 and showing you exactly how I did it, streaming every single hand along the way.